glad you're here. I've been uh, watching some videos by uh, a doctor talking about how to make children mentally strong. I think that's something that's important to every single one of us as parents, is we want to know what does it take to make children mentally strong. And one of the most important things that he shares in this videos is the fact that children need to be allowed to solve their own problems. And so that skill in and of itself is one of the biggest things that kids can do right now at three, four, five, five years old to prepare them for a successful life as, as adults. And you know, as you think about that here, that applies to our Montessori campus, one of the reasons why I came to a Montessori design is because children are allowed to make their own choices time and time and time again all throughout the day because we're not scripting things for them. We're letting them make choices, solve their problems in their, in their four or five year old world. We're allowing them to do that and practice so that when it's time to make the big choices in life, they've already made thousands upon thousands of choices. Literally, they make thousands of choices here. If they come here from infants all the way through the primary graduation here, they've made thousands of choices on their own. What's an example of a choice at home where you can help them not solve problems for them? How about when they pour their own milk and they, and they spill a little bit because they're practicing? How about we don't rush in and, and, and rescue them, but we allow them to problem solve? Oh, what should we do about this? You're a pretty smart little kid. Uh, what, what do you think we should do and see what they come up with and allow them to problem solve that? Because I know as adults, we're on the go, it's, it's rush, 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 and sometimes we just wanna jump in and rescue and take care of things, but I, I tell you the truth, if you take the time to let them solve their own problems, you're gonna do them such a great favor in life more than rescuing them. Because as you know, if you rescue them once, you're gonna to have to rescue them twice, you're gonna to have to rescue them thrice for the rest of their lives, right? They're always gonna depend on you if you always rescue everything they do. So take a step back in Montessori, we tell the teachers, take a step back, not a step forward, and allow them to experience what life they need, the decisions they need to make. Allow them to do that and see how much they're going to grow. Um, today, as a gift, we are going to give this book to all the children that are graduating. It's a Dr. Seuss book, all the places you'll go, because from this point, this is like a launching pad. From this point forward, your children are gonna have all different types of experiences in life, and, and we are so proud to be part of that foundation as we partner with you. We're so proud to have that experience. And we wanna give them this book as a memento, and more than just a, a fun book to read, but inside the teachers have signed a personalized uh, signature for, uh, for each child. And we want you to, we wanna encourage you to take this book to all your children's teachers from now until they graduate high school. And by the time they gradu graduate high school, they're gonna have an amazing uh, memento of their, their history throughout education of all the people that have influenced them. And so we encourage you to use it that way. So it's, it's more than just a book, but enjoy it as a special treasure uh, for your family for, for the life to come. So um, having said all that, uh, thank you again for being part of the Excel family. As you go out and explore different places, as your kids grow up, please come back and tell us, say, say hi to us, tell us what you're doing. We would love to hear from you guys throughout the years. So uh, thank you so much. This has been a, a monumental year for us as well. Real quick, one last thing. Because we're four years old, this is our third graduation. Some of you have been with us for, for three or four years. And so uh, this is super exciting for us. So if you've been here three years, is it, anybody here has been with us at least three years, can you wave your hands? So, you guys have been with us for three years. We, got, we had, a, and, and Maria has been with us, yes, and Avery. So thank you guys. Anybody, four years? You guys have been four years? Man, can we give them a round of applause for that? <laughs> so thank you so much. And uh, uh, you know any friends and families with little kids? Please send them our way. All right, having said all that, it's time for the graduation ceremony. So Miss Teresa, let's get it started.